Good day everybody, my name is Dean and welcome to the Adroit and Map SCADA online training videos. The following video is the fifth in a series of guides designed to help you the user become more familiar with our products. Today I will be showing you how to create an analog agent and scan a value from a Mitsubishi PLC as configured in the previous video. For those of you not familiar with the MAPS product, I recommend that you head on over to the Adroit website www.adroit.co.za To begin, we will need to understand that all agents and their scanning reside within the agent server. To work with the agent server, the first thing we will need to do is open up our agent configurator. To do this, we will right click on the Adroit data source and select the open configurator. Alternatively, we can click on the open configurator icon on our home ribbon. Once we've done this, we will need to select the agent type we're going to be working with. In our case, it is the analog agent. We have a number of different agents that we can work with, but for this exercise, we will be working with the analog agent. We will then create an agent by first giving it a name. In our case, motor pump flow. Once we have filled in the agent's name, we can then go along and click on the add button. A new agent will now appear in our list. We will then go along and select the edit button to edit our agent. We will be adjusting the device span of our analog agent. This is the span in the PLC. We can then specify an engineering span or range. This will be what we display to our operator. We're going to give our analog agent unit a value as well and this will be liters per hour. We can then go and edit our alarm limits. Our high alarm limit or first up alarm will be given a value of 8 and our high high or second up alarm of 10. We hit the update button to accept all changes and click our OK button. We can now go and attach this to a PLC's registry. To do this, click on the scan button, which will open up our scanning dialog. We then go along and select the device. In our case, it'll be the PLC device, which we configured in a previous exercise. I'm going to leave my address as the default, and I'm going to change my scan rate to 500 milliseconds. By checking on the output enabled checkbox, I will enable this agent to write out to the PLC. We then scan it and start our device. Click OK. We have now successfully created an agent and scanned it to our PLC. We can now save and close our agent configurator. The save will save the database of our agent server. Now, if we browse through that data source, we will find a new agent called Motor Pump Flow. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to display the value of the agent Motor Pump Flow on a graphic form. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope to hear from you in the comments section.